Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you guys are new here, my name is Lisa. I'm a full-time reseller. I'm also a mother of six girls. And um, yeah, today I have a Goodwill haul to share with you. I want to start out by saying, please excuse my mess. Um, my house too, like it's always a mess, but I'm filming in a different location just because um, Amelia got me up at 4.30 this morning. I'm freaking tired, but I did have to hit up the $1.99 sale. It's Monday, so they have their $1.99 sale. I had to go. I needed to get more inventory, and I got to start processing this because I have a whatnot sale on Wednesday, and I really want to get half of the sale ready right now, and then I'll do the other half tomorrow. Um, so some of this one I wanted to put in the sale, so I need to haul it. So all that to say, I need a haul real quick so that I can put this stuff away. I'm a mess. My house is a mess. Please excuse me. I'm just trying to get this done as quickly as possible before Amelia wakes from her nap and I run out of work time. So let's jump into the haul. I got a lot of stuff as per usual when I shop there on um, sale day. I usually do pretty well. So the first thing I got, this is actually a brand I don't typically pick up. It's Buffalo by David Bitten, but I got this for based on style. I'm going to put this in a whatnot show. Um, it's really, really pretty floral, and then it ties in the front, so I thought that was really cute. Um, today was pink tag, so everything was $1.99. I only bought one thing that was not a pink tag, and when I get to it, I'll show you everything else I paid $1.99 for. Next, we have a pair of Levi's black denim. These are the 7-Eleven skinny. Um, these I actually purchased to uh, send to my reseller friend, so I'll set those aside for them. Um, I got them a quite a bit of stuff today as well. These are, I hadn't seen this particular collab before. So these are a pair of Madewell denim shorts, but it's a collab with Alexa Chung. Never heard of that particular collab. Future Lisa here. I wanted to break in real quick and let you guys know on this collab, there actually is a bolo. If you find this particular shirt right here, people are searching for it and it is selling for a good price. Um, these are size 26 and they're just a cute pair of basic denim shorts. I'm going to look up comps on these. If the comps aren't like amazing, sometimes um, collabs can make things a little bit more valuable. If it's not got amazing comps, I'm just going to send those to my reseller friends as well. Um, <clears throat> these are a pair of mango white jeans. I probably shouldn't have bought these actually because they're like a skinny white jean, but they're in really good condition and mango is a good brand. They just don't resell for a lot, but that's okay. I probably actually will just put these in a whatnot show as well. All right, next up, <clears throat> these are a pair of J. Jill. I was going to say it's for my reseller friends, but they don't take J. Jill. So these are for me to sell. They're just a pair of like a Bermuda, Bermuda short. All right, next up, these are Banana Republic size six Chino shorts. These are going to my reseller friends. Get them a good stack, hopefully, because I'm a little behind. I usually try to give them a hundred items minimum when we meet up. And I think we're gonna be probably meeting up like within the next couple weeks and I only have, I don't even think I'm at 50 yet. So I need to get going. American Eagle, um, these are really cute actually. What's what's the style? These are the Tom Girl style in a size four. Um, I might sell these or I might send these to them. I'll set them aside for now. That's a style that I wouldn't mind selling myself, but we'll see. More American Eagle, this pair of plain shorts, those are going to them. These are also American Eagle. These are kind of weird, but <laughs> they like American Eagle. So they're American Eagle, like a golf short, I think. I don't know. They have this really kind of loud plaid print on them, but I'm sending them off, to, uh, sending those off to them as well. Um, these are really cute though. These are another pair of plaid American Eagle shorts. They're size 12, really nice and stretchy. Um, and they have the plaid on them too, like a black and a blue. Um, it actually has like a hound's tooth plaid. Um, I'm thinking about those cause I might want to sell those myself. Actually, those are pretty cute. Uh, these are, Oh, I got these for myself. I was like, why did I pick these up? I need shorts so bad. You guys, like it's been so hot here and I typically, we don't get that hot here. So I never, I don't have shorts cause I never wear shorts and this year has been so hot and I have no shorts. So those are for me. Um, this is a pair of Levi's Denizen shorts. Those are going to my reseller friends. We're in the, the denim bag, so that's why there's so much going to them. Sorry, guys. This part's boring. Can Can. This is another brand they take, so I'm sending these to them. Just a skinny jean. 
these are more denizen by levi's going to them good i'm glad i got so much for them today um you should have seen my card it was really full by the way i spent 150 dollars today so denizen by levi's now i did take my two youngest daughters again since it's summer break i've been taking them with me um so I always end up buying a couple toys and treats for them just to keep them happy. So um, that adds to my total. More Levi's by Denizen. That's going to them as well. All right. Hopefully there's some stuff for me in here. Yes, these are for me. Oh my gosh. I was so excited about these because I probably, depending on the price, let's see, what did they price them at? $12.99? No, I probably wouldn't have picked them up. But Revice, this is a really, really good brand um, for denim to pick up. They're a button fly black jean. And then they have this like striped down the side and a raw hem because this style isn't like probably the most current i would not have paid 12.99 for those but for two dollars heck yeah i will pick those up absolutely all right next these are new with tags what is this oh this is long long tall sally size 10 new with tags it has all the original tags on them um and they're like a black straight leg yeah straight leg with a raw hem these are really nice awesome so glad that i found those too with the pink tag on them all right what else did i get these are banana republic black jeans those are cute those are going to my reseller friends then we have universal thread these are for me size 10 that's my current size these looked really cute so i'm gonna try them on um a lot of times with those pink tag sale or at the bins, I'll grab stuff for myself. I'll try it on. If it doesn't fit, I'll sell it. So I might end up selling those if they don't work out for me. Um, these are more denizens going to the resellers. This is, <clears throat> what is this? These are Levi's as well. Yep, there they are. It's the older label Levi's, but they don't really have a preference as long as the condition is good. So those are going to my reseller friends and another pair of Levi's. <laughs> These are a size 31 though, and they're a boyfriend, but they're a boyfriend crop. So yeah, I'll send these to them as well. Whoo! Oh my goodness. That was a lot of stuff for them. My stack is really tiny and their stack is huge. All right, moving on to the next bag. Okay. I went to the plus size section, which I don't go to the plus size sh section in the store very often because it's like way at the back of the store and it's like all the same section. So in the front, they have dresses, tops, swimsuits, shorts, jeans, all by aisle. And then they do the same thing in the back for plus sizes. So usually I run out of time or, or like I just am too tired to get back there. But today I went back there um, because I have a plus size show coming up on my whatnot. If you guys haven't checked out whatnot, um, I do have a referral link down below. Um, it's like an auction based uh, reselling site. It's amazing. I love it. I can go through so much inventory. Um, but I have a plus size show coming up. So I got a bunch of plus size and I picked up more based on style than brand today for the plus size. This is a 1X and it's just a really pretty floral top, rose, rose and olive. Um, I've noticed on whatnot because things are selling for such a low value, um, I pick up based on style more than brand because the more like popular brands I'd rather resell on my other platforms to make more money. So this is a Liz Lange, Lange, Lange uh, maternity, extra, extra large swimsuit, and it's very cute. So I'm going to put this in that plus size show as well. It has like a chevron print to it. Uh, this is another swimsuit. This one is new with tags. I think it's dead stock. It looks vintage to me, but I could be totally wrong, but the tags look vintage. Um, anyways, this is just like a purple very modest swimsuit and has the little teal accents. Um, this swim top is, what are you? Oh, it's Ari. I thought it was really cute. So I picked that up. What size are you? Sorry guys. I'm not even saying sizes. That one's a 34 C more denim. I scored in the denim aisle, obviously more Levi. So these are for my reseller friends. <clears throat> oh, these are so cute. So this brand, never even heard of it. BBJ Los Angeles. I have no idea what that is, but I really liked the style on these and I might even just try them on. They're really cute, like cargo style, like a green. I might try those on. Those are really cute. Okay, next. 
These are Coldwater Creek size 16. Again, picked it up for style. It has like the wide leg and it's a really pretty green. It's not coming up very well on the camera. Um, my lighting's not great here right on the floor, but I thought those were really cute. More new with Tag Swimwear. This one is the brand Hot Water. I'm not familiar with it, but it's a 1X. It was new with tags. It has like the removable strap right here and it's a tankini. So you can wear it strapless or with that removable strap. Here's some more of the plus size stuff. This is Fashion Bug uh, 1X, but I really love the sleeves on it. it. Has like a flutter sleeve and a really pretty floral print with pinks and purples. Thought that was cute. Then we have a Lane Bryant 1816 t-shirt and then it has these sequin shoulders which i thought was really really fun all right some more green pants oh these ones are columbia size 12. these are really nice cargo pants like an outdoorsy pant hard to show you guys these taller ones all right next these are lucky brand this is another brand my reseller friends take so i'm sending these to them they're size 12. Oh, this is so cute. I feel like this is linen, but I didn't check. Let me double check. This is the brand Elios or Elos. I'm not sure how you say it. Yeah, it's 55% linen. It's a 2X and I think it's a tunic length, but how stinking cute is this? It's a really beautiful mauve color linen. This is definitely going in my whatnot show. Um, by the way, that show, I think I have it scheduled for Sunday, next Sunday. Um, this is Emily Daniels. I don't know the brand, but it has a very like laggin look or not laggin look. What am I talking about? That last top was laggin look. This looks like Johnny was, which is why I picked it up. It's white. Um, and then it has like that crinkle fabric and this really pretty white on white embroidery, which is not coming up very well on my camera. But again, I thought that was really pretty. It's a size one X. So that is going in my whatnot show as well. <clears throat> Here is another piece for my whatnot show. It's new with tags, but I'm pretty sure this is like one of those, you know, um, unbranded like online uh, purchases. So it's a size extra, extra large and it has these really pretty puff shoulder detail and it's like a green and white splatter print. Very cute. So again, what not, what not show. All right, next up, this is the brand Nally and Millie, which is an anthropology brand and Kind of hard to explain the print on that. I'm not sure what you would call that print. It's almost like a tie dye, um, just like a little v neck top. This I got to see if my daughter wants it. If she doesn't, I will sell it. It's Looney Tunes and it's a size junior's size large, but it has Tweety on it. I think Aubrey's gonna want that, so I'm gonna show it to her. Okay, here's the one item I paid up for today. So um, this is a Lily Pulitzer. It's a size two and they had it priced at $9.99. So I figured that was a good price for a Lily Pulitzer, especially this particular one. I really liked all of the embellishments on this. Let's see if you guys can see that. It's very heavily embellished around the collar. Um, and it's like a green, teal green floral print sheath style dress. So did pay up a little bit for that, but everything else I just paid the $2 for. So thought it was worth it. This brand is Alice and Joy. I actually bought something a few weeks ago from this brand at the same store. And when I looked up it up, it's from a website called Ever Eve, I think, which I had never heard of. So the comps were actually pretty decent, not amazing, but decent on these pieces. So um, this I'm expecting to get around 30 to 40 for. So I think that's pretty good for a $2 investment. And I really liked the fun print on it. It's very nice bold print. It almost reminds me of like Trina Turk kind of a print. Very colorful, sleeveless. Next, this is Bowden and it is a size, what size are you? Oh, it's a size US 18. So it's a plus size again. I might put this in my plus size show then. It's just a striped top, but it has like metallic, if you can see that, metallic in the stripes. It's really pretty. Okay, next, this is something I ba uh, bought based on style again. It's a Knox Rose size extra, extra large. So going in that same whatnot show. And it's a really cute boho blouse. It's all inside out, sorry. Here we go. Isn't that adorable? That is so cute. And it's an extra, extra large. It is sheer, but 
just have to layer it with something. All right, here is another one of those exact like I showed you before, the cheapy online ones, but it's an extra, extra large and it's really cute. So it's going in that whatnot show. So what I expect with these is I, I paid $2 for them. I'm going to start my auction at $5 um, so that, you know, I'm hoping to make at least a couple dollars off each item and then see from there, hopefully more than that, but that's the minimum. Um, Everly, size small. This is a really cute little tropical floral print dress. I love the top of this. It has kind of that crossover top. All right, this is so cute. This is American Eagle, size large. It's like a chambray blue striped top, and then it has the, um, what is that called now? I forgot. This part. <laughs> I can't remember what that's called. Anyways, smocking. There we go smocking on it this is also so cute picked up based on style i thought it was free people but it's actually the brand entro it's a size large and it's a really pretty maybe mini skirt or tunic uh, with all that beautiful floral embroidery on the front and the lace and the tiered sleeve really cute all right next up this is a lucky brand i'm pretty sure this is a pajama dress but it was in the top section of the plus size. It's an extra, extra large. Yeah, this is like a pajama dress, but it's really cute. And it's Lucky Brand, which I have really good luck with Lucky Brand, especially the larger sizes. Again, $2. Can't go wrong. This also, I wanted to see if my daughter wanted. This is just a little Rugs, Rugrats t-shirt. It's her size, so I'm going to set that aside for her. All right, next up, this is Tara and Sky, which I almost never pick up, but I'm pretty sure... Yeah, it's linen. I got it for style and because it's linen, I'm gonna put it in, and plus size, I'm gonna put it in that show. It's a really pretty color as well. It has that kind of like burlap, like look, to, it looks like a burlap bag. <laughs> That's what it looks like, but that is very on trend right now and it's a great size, great price, great fabric. So um, this one I got based on style, CJ Banks, size one. It's like a lime green and then it has this crochet, detail around the collar it's just a button down Alrighty, i went a little crazy in the plus section because i'm like i need enough stuff for my show which i probably have enough in my house already to be honest this is a chico size one which i think is actually just like a medium if i'm correct it's vanity sizing so i have to look it up i forget every time but just a pretty basic little ge geometric print top I don't know what this is. It just says button size one. I think I got it because I liked the colors and it's a vanity sizing. So it's like a one X. Yeah, I don't know if that one was a good idea. I can always return stuff that I just changed my mind on. I was like half asleep at the store, you guys. I probably shouldn't have gone this morning, but um, my store has a great return policy. Just keep the tags on and I can exchange it later. So yeah, that's my plan for anything. I feel like I made a mistake. St. John's Bay, Coral, blouse. Um, I got this one because I liked the bottom of it and it is plus size. So that's going in my show 2X. This is so cute. I did not see any tags on this, but I really loved the colors. It's a like rainbow striped oversized cardigan has like short sleeves and just the one button in the front. I don't know. I feel like this is so cute. I might even just keep it for myself, but these bit bold colors like, um, more vibrant colors are actually in for fall, which is unusual. Usually they're more muted colors for fall, but that's what's in this fall, so. All right, separate things. Next up, this is a J. Jill size small, just a little teal V-neck uh, sweater kind of material. More new with tags jeans. These are an Eddie Bauer Boyfriend Slim size 14. I got these basically just because of the size and the fact that they're new with tags. And a good style. The boyfriend is a good style. So good size, good style, new with tags, $2. I said yes. These I got because of the embroidery. These are Martha Stewart. I don't, I didn't even know she had clothing. Um, size 14. But I got them because I really liked the embroidery on these. And it's kind of a fall style embroidery. It has like birds and I don't know. I liked it. All right, uh, more new with tags jeans. These ones are Democracy, size 14, and they have the stretchy waistband, um, and then they're fully new with tags. So these I'm going to put in my plus size show, I think. 14, a plus size. 14 is like right on the 
right on the uh, limit there, I think. Classic boot cut jeans by Levi's, size 29. These are going to my reseller friends. Then a pair of Lucky Brand jeans going to my reseller friends. These ones are size eight. Oh, their stack is about to fall over. All right, next, we're almost done. There's only a little bit left, you guys. This is cabby and it's a size medium. Um, this is a really cute little blouse like teal and it has like a triangle print on it or something diamond I don't know what I'm talking about um this is inside out this is lush there we go this is a little lush blue mini dress I think this is linen which is why I grabbed it but let me verify that it feels like linen oh no someone cut out the tag I might return that because there is no um, material tag and I was pretty sure it was linen, which is why I grabbed it. But since I can't confirm that, I might not try to sell that. PJ Salvage, size medium, just a little yellow, uh, like short sleeve top. This is a, I don't remember grabbing this. See you guys, this is why you should not go to the store when you get up way too early. INC, size 10 skirt. It's like a cargo style corduroy. I don't remember grabbing that. All right, this is O'Neal, size medium. I really liked this little top. It's like a blush color. It's not coming up very true to color, um, but I thought it was really, really cute. All right, last piece of clothing, then I have two pairs of shoes. Um, this is Talbot's. It's a size medium, and it's a really cute little orange ribbed top. This reminds me so much of the 90s. This is what we were all wearing in the 90s, so grabbed that. All right, two pairs of shoes. They are both basically new with tags. This one is all twisted up. One second. Okay, this one is from Target. So it is a universal thread size 11, little tan booties, completely new with tags, never been worn. So coming up on fall, figured that was a great pickup for $2. And then these, these might have been worn once or twice, but they're really cute, Betsy Johnson, and they are a size nine. And look at the back, cute little peep toe heel. There we go, it looks like maybe they were worn once. That's it, you guys, that is my whole haul. I feel like I did really good, even though I might have blacked out a little bit. I'm probably gonna end up returning like three items, um, but I have a massive pile for my reseller friends and tons of stuff for my upcoming whatnot shows. So. I am super excited. Let me know what your favorite item from this haul was. And I better get back to work or take a nap or something before Amelia wakes up. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.